ready, you better be ready, because it's almost showtime. Come on. Let's do this. Justin! Watch party! Welcome to the One Up Weekly Live. Yeah. Dude, what is going on? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. So so we have we have two streams going today. So we got this one right here, which is so we can watch what's going on live together right. as it's announced. And then we have another one where we're gonna follow up with John D from Arcade One Up. Some of you guys don't know who he is. We're gonna get to the bottom of who he is, what his experience is in gaming, why he That's went right. to Arcade One Up. It's super exciting. But the whole point of this is we're 10 minutes and counting from the actual countdown from the IGN Summer of Gaming. So we're almost there. That's right. So Summer of Gaming is happening right now. And we're here to, uh, you know, not we're not gonna sit here and just watch it. We want it. We got things that we need to talk about, right, Ralph? And yeah. we're going to keep an eye on this and see when the uh, the Arcade 1-Up announcements uh, become available. Oh, it's and next. We'll... Look, look. It says Whoa. next. Look. It says next. Wow. <laughs> How next is What a is good it? timing. It's, it should be 4 o'clock. It should be 4 o'clock. So, so obviously, right. you know what's really crazy is they are... I, I've done events like this for my work before. It's so hard to keep it on time. I can't believe they're actually keeping it on time. So that's pretty exciting if they actually do. That's right. So... Man, we've been covering this for the last few weeks, and it's been pretty exciting. We've been uh, doing episodes on, you know, speculations of what's going to come out. But and there's and there's been some leaks, but we're not going to talk about that or discuss it or acknowledge them just yet because we're just minutes away from being able to find out facts. And we'll see, and we'll yeah. take a look, and we'll enjoy whatever the reaction is. So I did. I did want to say. Uh... <laughs> So someone was asking, it's actually 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. So if you're in another time zone, then yeah. So so you're, you're it's a different time for you. But uh, yeah, it's 4 p.m. here on the West Coast. Justin is in Central. Iowa in Central. <laughs> so <laughs> That's oh, wow. right. there's lots of there's lots going on in the chat. Uh, lots going on, lots of predictions and things like that. There were so, even some leaks, but we don't, here's the thing. Justin and I went to CES this past year. It was so much fun mm -hmm. and we got to experience that in our whole goal in that event. And several people have validated that we, we were successful in that. And all we wanted to do was make it feel like you were there with us, right? That's like, right. Give you the experiences. And the only way you can really do that is if you're seeing it for the first time too. So, um, so that's, that's big for us. So yes, there's been some, you know, leaking thing going on, but we're going to just kind of put that aside. We're going to watch this together and react to it together to see, uh, see how it goes. I'm talking a lot with my hands right now. I that's don't okay. Know why? That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's lots of, oh, and, and, and Mike from Rhode Island is here. He's drinking his favorite whiskey, which I don't know what it is. If you want to put that in the chat, Mike, that'd be great. Cause I'm a personal, I'm a big whiskey fan personally. So if you want to throw your bourbon of choice in there, that'd be great. Because, uh, you know, we just want to cover everything today. That's right. That's right. We're, we're really excited for today. Just If you're just joining us, uh, Ralph and I were talking about how we're, we're planning on two shows today uh, or tonight. So what we're doing right now is we're going to watch live the announcements for Arcade 1-Up. But then, what is it? Just at the uh, in about an hour, we're going we're gonna to have another stream where we're going to be live with uh with John D from Arcade One Up, an employee who's gonna go over all of the announcements. And I'm gonna take a peek in here because you know we you know we know anything. that this this is coming next. Arcade one up information is coming next. Uh, some other things that are gonna happen. Ooh, that looks like an is that a new rock band? Um so also the other thing that's gonna happen too is I've got when we start the stream, uh the second stream with John D, we're gonna have two giveaways and the giveaways are kind of tied to the announcements. So it's pretty cool. So we've got some giveaways they're going to be pretty cool so you're not going to want to miss that. I'm not going to announce the giveaway tonight. We're going to we're going to at least give it 24 hours and then we'll announce it on uh I'll announce it on Retro Ralph just because we can't uh, community post yet on the one up weekly. But okay. uh but yeah, it it the bro we're broadcasting everywhere. We did start the new channel for one up weekly, but because this is such a big event, we don't want anyone to miss out. We're broadcasting it everywhere. We've got it on Justin's channel, my channel, and right. our joint channel. So it's yeah, everywhere. So so if you guys are watching us uh, on my channel or Ralph's channel or maybe on Facebook, I want to make sure you guys know that we have a new channel called The One Up Weekly. It is where we're going to do all of our content together. 
Uh, we're live every Sunday uh, where we do, you know, our podcast, the show, the one up weekly. And so, but again, like you said, it's a new channel that we're just forming it, you know, so we wanted to make sure that we are streaming uh, in many places. So everyone had an opportunity to uh, to join the party with us. And okay, uh, Lewis said it's coming next, Justin. So we got to be aware and ready to put that volume up. I think it might be happening right now. Oh, no, no, it's they're talking about something else. Um, OK, but we, but be aware, just cut me off if for some reason it starts. But someone asked what the requirements are for join it for contest. It, it, if you do have Twitter, it's to follow uh, we don't have a one-up weekly Twitter yet, so follow the Retro Ralph Twitter. Uh, but it's not a requirement, really. Just put your information, and I don't think it forces you to do that. So I don't think you have to have a Twitter account. It's more of a, hey, could you please go do this? But it doesn't actually require you to do it. That's All right. right. It looks like we, we're getting close here. Let's see. All right, still commercial. All okay. Right, we'll wait for that. Um, That's right. Oh, it's so got to be now. Right, yeah, sorry, and, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm like, I mean, it's got to be now. It's got to be now. It's got to <laughs> be now. <laughs> That's right. So the requirements for the the giveaway are pretty slim. But um, if you do, if you have watched Ralph and I regularly, and you would you would like to subscribe to our one up one up weekly channel, please please do that. Um, that's yeah, one of the the reasons why we're running the promotion is to make sure there's awareness about about the new channel that we have. And all the shows, all the one-up weekly shows going forward will be on the new channel. It's the last time we're doing sort of this simulcast thing where we're going all over the place. That's what you call it, right? When you're broadcasting to other channels? Yeah. Or, yeah okay, cool. That's okay, right. Justin. All right, what is this guy saying? Is he saying anything okay, important let's for it. us to, to hear right now? Let's put it up for real quick. I still can't hear him, but... Justin, I cannot hear him. Did you say you can't hear? No, I can't hear him. Okay, hold on. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. We've got technical difficulties. Don't ruin it, Justin. No pressure, bud. Donations. There you go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was almost going to start texting him on the side, start private chatting him. Dude, you had one job. No, I'm just kidding. That's right. I think we missed job. a couple of super chats. I think we should mention that. Um, below, there was a super chat from Zohar. He said his stomach was sick. Now, keep in mind, Zohar, just, just hold on. Be patient with us because I think you're going to be happy. Um, oh, there's a super chat from Stringer Films. Get your popcorn ready. I love it. How did we miss these? The, the chat must be like flying because I didn't even see any of those. That's that's crazy. Did I miss any other ones? Um, yeah, I think it was just the two. Thanks, Stringer Films. Appreciate it, buddy. Glad you could join here tonight. We've got it's coming up. We're almost here. Almost time. By the way, if uh, if you're new here, definitely in the link below go to the one up weekly it has there's a little link in there that says subscribe to the one up weekly that's where we're going to do this from now um arthur garcia is super excited he said don't mess with my heart i don't even know i don't even know what he's talking about but we're all <laughs> fired up <laughs> we're all fired up so it's going to be exciting we you know we we we, we meet is it happening I'm so, I'm like on pins and needles, dude. Is it? I don't want to miss it because oh, if we don't kick the show off today with a special trailer from Arcade One Up. Oh, here we go. Let's yes. take a look okay. at the latest retro arcade cabinets and pinball machine. This is it. Yes. Pump up the volume, buddy. Oh, oh. X Men versus Street Fighter. Okay, very cool. All right. Nice, cool promo too. They look like different artwork kits. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay, what else we, okay. All right, what else we got? That's cool, that's cool. Oh! We've seen Pac-Man before. Yeah, but come on. <laughs> oh, it's Miss Pac-Man! Oh. oh, wow. <laughs> and I said it couldn't be done. They did it. They actually <laughs> pulled it off. Oh, it's Galaxian. That's cool. That's cool, dude. Galaxian's my okay. dog's favorite. Miss Pac-Man is back. All right, we're definitely talking about this after this promo yep. runs. There's a ton to talk about about I, that. Yep. Okay, that's way cool. All right, okay. what else? What else we got? Okay. Oh, oh, where's my cowboy hat? It's not Big Buck. Is it Big Buck? Oh, oh. yeah, buddy. What? Shoot it's Big Buck, man. 
Oh, oh whoa. Whoa, that is sick. Hold on. We need the close-up shot. Oh, let's just, just... Okay, we'll get there. Oh, is it just a teaser shot? Oh, okay. All right, where's the sensor bar, my friend? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna, okay. we're gonna look at that. We're gonna look at that closer. That looked really cool. All right, yeah. what else we got? Ooh, the dramatic music. I like that. All right, I'm pumped. Hit the like button. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> Get someone in the chats if you're liking this. Oh, dude, look at that new logo for Arcade One Pinball. That's what? sick. That's, That's cool. cool. It's very cool. Oh, oh, they're yeah. going Marvel. They're going Marvel. <laughs> I like it. We didn't say Marvel, I don't think, on Sunday. No. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hey, the DMD, DMD looked bigger to me. Uh, did did sure they have chrome say. on the side before? Built-in accelerometer. Nice. No way, built-in solenoids. We didn't have that. We didn't know that for sure. Yeah, we didn't know that for sure. Yes. Protective acrylic top. Okay. Okay. Coming fall twenty coming this year. We're okay. Be, it's, it's All the right. Year of pinball, man. It's the year of pinball. Well. All right. All is right, that, that the, was is great. That it? I, I think so. All right, so te All right. tell us what you think, guys. What's what's your favorite announcement for today? Um, okay, okay, we gotta take a closer look because we might have gotten some materials just 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 in the last what five minutes. So should we go through each one and just see yeah. what's up? Yeah. All so right. okay, hold on. Let me make sure we got everything together. So the show is not ending. Uh, we are getting information. This just in. <laughs> what what do we want to take a look at first? Like, let's right, do I I say, all right, I'm gonna call it. We should look at Big Buck Hunter first because it went by so quick that I want to like, I want to see like, you know, I see it closer, right? All right, all right, all right. So hold on a second, give me a second. It's gonna take him a minute. Oh wait, he said they're interviewing Scott right now. Oh crap, go wait, back what? to the video. Okay, hold on, hold someone on. said they're interviewing Scott. We gotta go back. <laughs> Crap, I didn't know that. I didn't know they were doing an interview with Scott. We got to go back. It's coming. All right. You got the and audio figured out? Like, uh, there was like a commenter saying, I don't think they'd ever put this out. That's because there's <laughs> like, this is not a, a, a difficult, this is a difficult game to put out, right? I got to tell you something. We, you know, we're so lucky. We have a, we have a phenomenal partnership with, uh, with Bandai. And this has kind of been on our radar and, and our wants for the last couple of years. It's been in discussions. And we're just, we're really proud to bring it out. It's its one of my personal favorites. And uh, I'll tell you something, it's a hard game to play, boy. It really is. It's, we like to say it's its easy to play, hard to master, right? Sure. An amazing game. It's hard uh, to master when it's going really fast. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. If, you, if, you're, if you're able to control the speed of the game. Can we interview the interviewers? Um, <laughs> so we will have some settings that will that we'll be able to alter. And we'll have actually some exciting, uh, some exciting things that we're not going to talk about right now. But that will okay. be in uh, kind of the hidden gems of the game as it comes out. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be a beautiful thing. We've got several different styles that'll be out there. We started showing them a little bit. It'll have a, a light up marquee, and I'll have our standard riser. Um, what's exciting for us is this is the very first time that this is being offered as a home arcade machine um, outside when it was first originally released, you know, several years mm -hmm. ago, almost uh, forty years ago. Yeah, I, I have a, an original stand-up <laughs> and a cocktail. That's the stand-up is really big, and it's really pink and really blue, and it's the best-looking <laughs> yeah. arcade machine for our room. I think it's really cool-looking on its own, and I think yeah. like just having it in the corner of your room is so eye-catching. I think it looks like, from what I just saw, you guys just nailed that cabinet look. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much. And you know what? I totally agree with you. Like These pieces, I mean, they're, they're awesome to play. They bring you back to that moment in time and all that stuff. But they're like pieces. They are pieces of art, you know. It's mm. like you're mentioning this one behind me here. I mean, I have more people coming in Justin, here and be like, "Yeah, I don't know what Should that we is." Should we pull the audience cool. and like, tell them if they want to continue you know, with, with Scott or look and, at the materials? Uh, yeah, so nice pieces of art that are actually functional. We can do that. that can you guys hear us? All right, you guys want to continue? There's a few other games in the same package. Or do you want us to show you mm -hmm. pictures? There are. Um, we can yeah, do let us know. Really, let us know in the chat. We need everyone to contribute though. Included with that is Miss Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Rally X. 
losing the third, fourth one right now. <laughs> but other I discuss I cut audio games you can play with a pictures, joystick, pictures. basically, because okay. that's what this oh, yeah. Batman has. Let's yeah, jump over. Yeah. So, which which one do we right, want to start want, with? People want the pictures. Uh, a couple people said live with Scott. Uh, all right, we're getting mixed reviews here. All right, it can't be that long. Let's um, let's you know, hear out Scott for a minute. Specific control right. panel that works for those games that were identified to go into that machine, and it's not a, a one size fits all sort of thing. Mm-hmm. It gives you a true arcade experience at your house. Are you announcing a release date for Miss Pac Man today? Yeah, so Miss Pac Man, oh, obviously making an official announcement right now. Um, it will be out for uh, fall of this year in stores yes. uh, by October, November time frame. Whoa, nice. And we're going to start, oh, us and retailers will start some pre orders, and those announcements will be made over the coming months. Uh, best thing to do on that is if you guys are uh, anybody interested, go check out www.arcade1up.com. And uh, at that site, you can find all the information in terms of when we're releasing. There's a lot of notify me buttons, um, some really exciting stuff. You know, Miss Pac Man was the uh, number one selling arcade game of all time in its day. And uh, it's really cool that uh, we'll have to track those numbers, Damon. We'll we'll, we'll keep on seeing (laughs) the on tap. I know, yeah. (laughs) Gonna add (laughs) add some numbers then. Were either one of you guys good playing at uh, Miss Pac Man? Yeah, I like Miss Pac Man. It's probably really good. Yeah, we had a work competition. I brought in a machine a while we ago, agree. and everybody played it for a, a couple of weeks. And Game our friend Jerry Petty won that competition. He had it about two hundred forty thousand, which is pretty good. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I can't. If That's I break two hundred, it's a really good day. But I have a little book called "How to Beat Mr. Cabs Cabs a hit. From <laughs> yeah, it really helps. You really got to go with cheap books. Okay, Scott's oh, yeah. losing me soon. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, well, the, uh, the pattern's not working. All right, we're gonna cut this. Check this guy's out. All right, let's uh, go we're gonna to jump pictures. over. Go so arcade1up.com has been updated. Boom, right there, big and bold. We got Miss Pac-Man, Marvel. Yeah, and we've got some closer pictures, guys, too, that we could share as well. That's right. And then we got the X-Men versus Street Fighter. That 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 one I'm really interested in because it does look like it may come in variations. Yeah, it looks cool. Uh, so let's take a look. Um, what do you say? I want to try. I want to start with Big Buck myself because I'm, right. I'm the, it's the most. It's the one I'm the most curious about because obviously it's the first time that Arcade One Up is putting out a light gun cabinet, and so yeah, this this is really cool. So guys, check this out. So it's got, it has like sort of. Do they they didn't put this on the website. I'm assuming yet, but uh, but it's got the topper, which I'm I'm assuming lights up. The cool thing about this is it's a partnership with Raw Thrills. I was mm-hmm. thinking the partnership would be with Incredible because I thought they were going to do the older versions of Big Buck Hunter, and I think the later versions of B- Big Buck Hunter are actually Raw Th- Thrills and not Incredible, if, mm-hmm. I, if I know that correctly. The thing I'm not seeing is I don't know where the sensor bar is, so let's just assume we're not going to have that right now unless unless we can get that out of John D. later. But that'd be a good question for us to ask him is where's the sensor bar? Yeah. But I, I love the, the fact that um, what I do with my gun I love the fact that this goes in, but I'm wondering, like, is that a whole holster? Because obviously, dude, if it was a hole, it? it would. Do you see it? So what? we we were looking at the the leaks from CES. Uh, Ralph, why don't you pull up the gun that you have? Um, the gun that he has. Show the handle. The handle. See how it has those two holes in it. You know, that's what we saw in the in the leaks from CES. But if but if you look at these, that that's that's not there. It's like solid plastic there, and then those with look the, better the sticker. Than... Yeah. Those look better than the one I have. So they might have just mocked it up with the sure shot. Did you stuff, see? So Justin, see how the speaker's right in the center there? Yeah, I really think that's cool. That's like really unique too. I think that's pretty neat. Yeah. Um, I don't see a sensor bar, but just the, this is the first time. Talk about the most unique shaped one up we've seen. The other thing is, of course, as soon as I see something, I think about modding it. I was thinking about how cool it'd be. Uh, oh, look, that's funny that he just said this, Ralph. I see you modding Big Buck already. <laughs> it's re- it would be really cool for those buttons to be light up buttons, you know, like almost oh. attract mode, like oh. blinking to kind of like be like, hey, come play me. So um, that could be really neat. But it just it looks it looks a lot bigger than a regular one up too. But I think it's just because that top oh, that top adds like a good. I don't know. It looks like it adds like four inches to the top. It's of gonna. The- it's probably gonna be taller than the Star Wars, right? So yeah, yeah, it comes with cool. a matching riser and the matching riser. I wonder if it's the, the 14, the, the, the 14 inch, like the star Wars. It looks like it might be the taller inch one, the taller one. We could ask John if he knows it, it, that yeah. later on. That'd be interesting. I don't know. I'm like, the, the, honestly, guys, this is the one. It's so weird. Cause I didn't think, I didn't think I, I'm not like a huge, huge, gigantic big buck hunter fan, but this like makes me want it. It's really cool. 
It look like look at the, even the back shape is different. It's got the really unique curve to it. The speaker in the middle is unique. Like I'm just I'm gonna buy it because I'm so damn curious mm -hmm. about the technology. And I and I will see what John can give us, you know, uh, tonight on the show. But I just it looks awesome. It looks awesome. I'm I'm super excited. That's that they they knocked it. I think that's the one I'm most excited about, which is so crazy because it's not a game I don't like. It's just a game that. I'm not, you know, I'm not as, you know, maybe maybe the nostalgia feels for it aren't huge, but it just looks freaking awesome. That's right. That's right. And what a fun, like, bar game, right? To play at your right. house with a bunch of people. Like, so fun. It's Have so unique. Have a couple of drinks right? and play it. Yeah. So next, I think we take a look at the, we just got the one picture for uh, for the pinball, you know, so the Marvel one there, the dual speakers, it, it's pretty slick looking. Yeah, the Marvel looks good. This looks, oh, wait a minute. Hold on, though. We did not have a plunger at. I'm pretty sure there was no plunger at CES, and this picture shows a plunger. So, hmm, that's interesting. So we got to ask Justin. You, you're always hey. All right, you. We got two two jobs. I'm gonna give the chat a job and Justin a job just to see who remembers. That's right. Someone's got to remember to ask about the plunger because if it has the plunger, that's not what they at CES. It was a button. I'm pretty sure. When I played it, I think it was a button to launch the ball. So it's really cool if it's a plunger. And then slip a little just back of it if you can. Hold on. Show the does it show the plunger on all these two. I don't see it there. It's cut off. Is there yeah, one that I mean, it's there. that okay? All right, that's a huge one. It, the plunger is huge. People want the plunger, so that's right. I hope that I hope that's there. And we'll also we'll get release dates and all that stuff. We'll see if John Deacon we could put put some pressure on him to get that done. Okay, that's cool. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. um the other thing i don't know is uh i don't think the legs are adjustable but we'll ask that too i wasn't sure if that's um there's discussion about aftermarket plungers yeah ap the, the aftermarket plungers can be really expensive so uh oh <laughs> so tulsa arcades is in there so tulsa arcades dude he's our guy in the community he puts all he does a lot of aftermarket parts He's going to have a whole lot of work ahead of him. He's got to get dimensions so he could start pumping out products for this stuff. That's right. So that's really cool. Uh, so Tulsa, you got a whole lot of work cut out for you between now and, and November. That's for sure. Um, JC, actually. We call him by first name. I mean, we're friends. So JC. But uh, the, the Ms. Pac-Man is huge. So the thing I got to talk about, and I know we don't have a ton of time because we got to get prepared for the next show, but the Ms. Pac-Man is huge, Justin. I think, one thing, I think, you, I think we're going to have to do it. an entire episode on Ms. Pac-Man down have the to. line. Because but but wanna, should we spill the beans on the one stat that we that I'm pretty confident, and I can do it just in case, so if go I'm wrong, it. they can make fun of me. Make fun okay, of Ralph so, is it wrong, but we, we... Yeah, go for it. I did a bunch of research on you Ms. Pac-Man. You did a bunch of research, right? <laughs> okay, go ahead. I did did a bunch of research on on Miss Pac Man. The thing about Miss Pac Man that everyone said Arcade One Up can't do it. They can't do it. They can't do it. And it's because, and I'm going to do it fast. GCC, who's the original inventor of Crazy Auto, which ended up being Miss Pac Man, after all the legal battles, basically when Bandai Namco releases anything with Miss Pac Man, according to what everyone knows, they have to pay royalties to GCC. We'll come to find out. They only have to pay royalties to GCC if it's a coin-operated Miss Pac-Man or digitally distributed, meaning like an Xbox or a PS5 or 4, you know, something like that, or a mobile device. This isn't digitally distrib distributed, so... And it doesn't so, take coins. Yeah, and it doesn't take coins, so that's the loophole. So I believe what happened here is the reason why we thought it wasn't going to happen is because we were like, why would Arcade 1UP want to pay? At Games bought the bought out GCC. So what would happen is that would mean that if Arcade wanted to put it out with, with Bandai Namco, they'd have to pay royalty fees to GCC. Because it doesn't have a <clears> coin door, <throat> they actually don't have to. So that's huge. I mean, yeah. this is huge. Miss Pac-Man is one of my favorites in the Pac-Man series. It is my favorite. I'm so stoked on that. It looks awesome. I'm like, yeah, everyone's going to be broke by Christmas. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> All right. Um, and, and we can, so let's go on to the next one because we only have about five more minutes and then we're going to have to break for a little while. So we're going to break in five minutes. We're going to break this stream. We'll be dorm, we'll be dark for 30 minutes and then we're going to come back at, at the top of the hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Mar the Marvel or the X-Men versus Street Fighter. I'm a little confused about Justin because there's like color variants, right? Yeah. Maybe we in, need to go the, to the website to understand that. Yeah. Let me check it out. So in the sizzle reel that we saw, 
they were kind of showing through. Um, we have the sizzle reel. We can rerun it, right? Don't we? Don't we have the sizzle reel for that? I don't see or it. Do we not? No, no, no we don't so. have it for that. We just have it for Big Buck and uh, yeah, Miss Pac Man, which we already saw. So yeah, but if you look at all the, let me let me pull up the the arcade one up picture. The their website. It, it, see it, the the it's just the black. You know where the team only would be. Um, it's just black, but we in one of the pictures kind of looks like it was kind of glowing. So I wonder if they're gonna have some variations on that. Yeah, we'll have to find out. Maybe we can um maybe we can find out from John D what's going on there. Yeah. All right, so we got to go. We got to go on the next one, right? Because we have about we have about well, we have about ten, just a little less than ten minutes. No, we covered it. All four: Big Buck, Marvel Pinball, Miss Pac Man, X Men versus Street Fighter. Those are the announcements. Can uh, we run? Can we run the sizzle reel for Big Buck? It's loud as hell, but can we just run it? We'll have to tell everyone to lower their volume. I, it's it's loud. Here we go. All right, guys, ready? Lower your volume a little bit because for some reason the Big Buck video, the Big Buck video has a sound issue. So we're gonna run it, which is just funny. Like shoot the buck! Don't shoot the doe! All right, I'm 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 pumped up about that. Do you think um, do you think we should also <laughs> do you think we should also run the Miss Pac Man one one more time for those that missed it? Uh, sure. What exactly do you want me to? Oh, the the sure. sizzle reel for Miss Pac Man. Just yep. we're gonna run. So so we only got the reels for a couple of them, but we're gonna run the Miss Pac Man sizzle reel real quick, and then we're gonna and then we're gonna wrap this show up for the next one. So that's awesome. So Stringer Films, $2 Super Chat. Thank you so much. Glowing tea molding comes with a $700 version. Is that true? I don't even know. I think he's joking about that. I think he's joking about that. All right. Like, so wait, we're going to be back in like 30 minutes or so. We're going to be live with John D. We're going to go. We're going to dive deep into the, all of the announcements tonight. And Justin, what? I need your help. This question is a really good question right below me. We need to vlog that one, too. Yes. It's live play on the X-Men cab. That's a, that's a really important one. Dude, Mr. Chip. Dead on. Awesome question. With all this Wi-Fi stuff coming with NBA Jam. By the way, you're gonna want to stay for the. You're gonna want to stay for the next show because not only do, are we gonna have a bunch of stuff with John D, but we're gonna dive into some exclusive NBA Jam stuff we haven't heard mm -hmm. about yet. We're gonna go through the roster. He's mm -hmm. gonna give us who is on the roster, who's missing from the roster. We're gonna go through how to set up the Wi-Fi. There's gonna be a bunch of cool stuff, so you're not gonna want to miss that show. That's right, and it's broadcast basically everywhere. All right. No time for final thoughts, right? Nope. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you all on the, the next, next one, one, which is just PM. in a little bit. Like, all in right. a little bit. <laughs> Don't miss it. And subscribe Don't miss to it. the 1UP Weekly. Yeah, please do.